No matter what, the college will endure. Graybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to hide rock.
Mother's wisdom. Her foresight protects me. Her insight sustains me. Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Twilight, guide your path. We are children of the twilight, beings who are to be guided from the dark into the light, and from the light into dark. Sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. My Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. No. Gods no, not for years. I left Winterhold for some time, and returned to stay here at the inn. This is an ode to Skyrim's true I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian maid and the lusty baron. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail. 
except for one. Azura's Star, a Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varen then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Azora is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. The college would agree with you, but do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before... Well, I already told you. Until next time. If there's anything you need, just let me know. If you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. Here, take a look at this. this is an Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Winterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. He doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Or even that's dried up some. Have you heard about Aventus Aretino? He's a little boy, lives in Windhelm. They say he's been trying to get in touch with the Dark Brotherhood. All right then. And when Sovereign Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. All hail to Ulfric, you are the High King. In your great honor, we. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off.
Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts.
wanted just to hand over the gold. Did he miss it? Oh no. There's someone there. Get lost. <laughs>
I trust you're not planning any trouble. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? Friend? A dragon has attacked White Tran. How could my job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. I don't really know anyone at the college. I guess everyone just assumes I do because I'm a Dunmer. I can't believe Dagger allows me to stay there. Nothing. And I hope to keep it that way. The Jarl is convinced I have some connection with the college, so he goes easy on me. Maybe you'd like to help me keep up appearances. Old Nelikar has a mage's staff in his room in the Frozen Hearth. It'd be good to have that staff, in case the Jarl starts wondering if I actually have a real connection to the college. Thanks. I'll be waiting for it. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Safe travels. They say I'll freak storm to a murder. The Imperials think we need their laws. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Don't let us go in the college. They said it's not safe in there. Can I help you? My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. This should come in handy. Here. Let me show you a few tricks I've learned about buttering up royalty. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Until next time. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all.
Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Eyes. The road makes this one weary. May your road lead you to warm sands. It's really dead then. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. Another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, Mio. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves' Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Then we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino, in Windhelm, has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the Orphanage, on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Be seeing you around. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did, 
But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Huh? What do you want? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you! Yes, Hofgreer took me in when I arrived in Riften about a year ago. He's been teaching me everything he knows. Horses are my whole life. Back in Hammerfell, I helped my family raise horses at our farm. I hope to open my own stables one day, but I think it's going to take a lot longer than I expected. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. No, no, Maramo. We talked about this. Talon? Kirama, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. Very well, Talon. I'll remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Blessings of Mara upon you. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Yeah. What's your problem? Is there something I can do for you? I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump into each other again. Yes? Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Good man. You won't regret it. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. No idea, but whatever he did it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, 
I'll meet you outside of town. I'll meet you outside of town. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. You everyone, town, eh? everyone here for the fishing, I guess. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Gather round, all. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. This way, everyone. Over here. Come on, Brignol. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed. was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Get that then. No one's seen them in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. What the? Buy some armor and live to tell about. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. 
But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well. Ask away. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting? What was that? Aha!
This one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. I'll be here when you're done. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. You better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Sorry, nothing. <laughs> 